G'day guys, we've got an applications of differentiation question today where it's asking us to find the equation of the tangent line y equals 2x sine of x at the point pi over 2 comma pi. Okay, so the equation of the tangent line is going to take the form y equals mx plus b. And we're going to find each of these points M and C a different way. Now M, what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the derivative of this. So this is going to be dy over dx evaluated when x is equal to pi over 2. And C is we're going to sub to find C, we're going to substitute in the point that we have once we've got the gradient and we'll solve to and that'll solve for our C point. Well you'll see how that you'll see how that will work later. Okay, so let's start with finding the derivative and then evaluating it at x is equal to pi over two. So let's have a look. We're going to use the product rule for this. Um, derivative because we have two functions that are multiplying by each other. We have a linear function 2x and we have a trigonometric function or the sine function on the back. So we will so we have the dy over dx is going to be equal to now the product rule says that it's the derivative of the front times the back plus the derivative of the back times the front. So the derivative of the front 2x is just 2 and we're going to times it by the back so the back is left constant times by the sine of x and we're going to add that to the derivative of the back the derivative of sine is just cosine times the front left constant so times by 2x cosine x so there's our derivative now what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this derivative. So we're going to we've got dy over dx. We're going to evaluate it at x is equal to pi over two, and that's going to be equal to the sine of pi over two plus 2 times pi over 2 cosine of pi over 2. Cool. So, hopefully you guys are aware of your um, exact values of trigonometric functions. So, we know that the sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1 and the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0 so that therefore this is going to be equal to 2 times 1 plus 2 times pi over 2 is just pi times the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 so this is equal to 2 so, in our equation of the tangent line, we now have, we can say therefore, m equals 2. So, we'll go over here. Now we have y equals... 2x plus c now. Now we're going to sub in our point x equals pi over 2, y equals pi. So we have pi equals 2 times pi over 2 plus c. So pi is going to equal pi plus c. So c is quite simply 0. 
So we can say, you know, finally we can write, where can we fit it? I don't know. We can write, therefore, the equation of the tangent is y equals 2x. And that's the entire question. So, first of all, let's just quickly go through this. The equation of the tangent line, we first express that it's got to take the form y equals mx plus c. It's got to be a linear function, and I find this gradient intercept form the easiest way to represent linear functions. So, to find the, the first thing we have to do is find the m value of this linear function. The way we do that is we get our function that we're trying to find the tangent to. We find the gradient function by differentiating, and then we substitute in pi over 2 to find out what the gradient is at that particular point. Once we've evaluated the derivative at pi over 2, we can come out with that m value. We substitute that into our linear equation. And after substituting the point in, we can then solve for c. Once you've solved for m and c, those are the only the two points you need. You then can just write your solution. It's not a very complicated question if you know how to, first of all, differentiate and how the um, linear function and the differential fit together. So I hope this quick video helped. Um, if it did, Sling my channel a like, subscribe to it if you like, that'd be great, and I'll uh, see you again next time.